Hi everyone and welcome back to another service now video by me, Goran Lundqvist, aka the, the Witch Doctor. Today we're going to take about some new stuff in the UI policies functionality that came out with the, the London release. Uh, a big shout out to, to Philip Swan who actually made me aware of this one when we're talking about the, the new client script stuff in, instead. So for those who haven't seen any of my videos before or heard me, my name is Goran Lundqvist. I work as a technical consultant slash architect, mentor, yeah. Most of the stuff you can do, do in, in service now. Been both a client and a customer and worked in IT world for a long, long time. But uh, let's not bore you with this one. You can look at it and read it if you want. Let's see what we're going to talk about today instead. So we're going to talk about two stuff. One, the first thing is the UI policy related list actions, which is kind of cool where you can hide and show related lists depending on conditions. And then the last one, clear the field value, which is actually a field that you can use to clear the value, which most people normally do this to client scripts. And now we can actually use UI policies without scripting, hopefully, to achieve the same functionality, which is kind of nice. So let's uh, skip that and let's head into the jungle of service now. So first thing I always like to show you on our incident. So let's put up an incident and let's go back to the normal view. So this is normally how it looks like. Uh, at the bottom you have different rate lists and let's try to hide them. So. What we can do is we can go to the UI policies and create a new one. Let's say, let's say, hide a related list. And my imagination is really bad. So then as normally we set some kind of conditions. So let's see when state is closed, I would like to hide a field. You have the same settings as normal on a UI policy. So let's hit save. Um, let me throw up another tab for you guys when it's done loading. There we go. Our type two snaps that I can't spell in C then dot list. There we go. So after you saved it, you get the rate list, of course, on the UI policy. And here is the new one, the UI policy rate list actions. So let's hit new and we'll see what's pop ups. So we have list names and here you can see you have a few list names. Now, just to show you uh, what's happened is that if let's take a step back on the the UI policy is where I wanted to go. And not that UI policy. <laughs> oh yeah, let's, there we go. So if I have global checked here, the drop down here will be the related list that is actually on the default view. So if I go on the default view, and add a rate list. Let's add, I don't know, this one. We'll save that one. We'll go back and we'll reload this form. You can see that the ones I added already popped up. But if I go into a different view, you can see we have similar. And let's go to rate lists and let's add something else. Now, if I do the same, you will see that I still can't see the attached knowledge item, which is the one I want to hide. So what I need to do is I need to go back to the UI policy, wait for page to load, go down to global. Global is the one where you decide should this UI policy be on all views or only one specific. In this case, you only want it to be on the service portal. 
and this kind of makes sense. Let's hit save. And now let's scroll down and click new. And now when you click on this name, you can see that attach knowledge is there as well. Kind of nice. What you want to do with that list, I would like it to hide it. Let's submit. So when state is closed, the related list named, uh, and it's kind of dumb because you should actually would like to have the, the label instead. I don't think you can actually get that one. Yeah, display name, hopefully. Uh, let's see if that one gives what we want. Uh, no. So that's kind of a improvement suggestion. Put in the real rate list name instead of the, the database name or what you should call it. So anyway, let's test it. So we have an incident which is closed and I haven't reloaded. We can see this one. I'll reload the form. And ta-da! The attached knowledge is gone and if I change it will pop up and you can see it responds really quick which is nice. Bad thing is that if you really look carefully you can see that something is missing. It's not that thick dark gray as this one is. You can actually see and this gray line is missing as well I think. But it's good enough if you hide this per script it will still look the same so I think this is good enough. So that is the first part about hide a related list. Let's just uh, deactivate that one. Now the second part, let's take our incident and let's uh, get back to our default view because we have a little bit more fields and easier to do changes. So the last thing we're going to talk about is the clear the field value. So let's create a new your policy on the instant table and just to show you we just take something easy clear assign to let's find out the condition and priority is easily to change so let's say that when priority is two I would like to clear the assign to is two. So let's uh, save that one. And the new thing we're looking at is under the UI policies. We'll hit new and you will see a new field down here. Clear the field value. Meaning that if I check this one, it will clear the field value when the conditions is true. And you can see in the help that it actually works on choice fields as well where it will set none as a, the value instead oh, and of course we have to choose a field it's assigned to submit so now when priority is two clear the assign to let's reload we can see that david lu has it Priority 2, he's gone. Priority 4, let's go back to 2 just to show you. Let's put David Liu back. And if I change to 4, nothing happens. But if I change back to 2, it's gone. And another example, let's save this one. Oh, I need a work note. Save. And what happens when it loads? it's gone why is it yeah because we have on load here meaning that it actually runs when the page is loaded so if i only want this your policy to run when priority is someone is changing it to two i'll uncheck that one i'll hit save then i click here i'll put in david again 
hit save and now when it loads David should be back and not gone let's see did it say or was it too quick for me to notice yeah there we go if I change to three to priority is four still there but when I change it to two he's gone so this is kind of a, a nice way of adding on change clear fields uh, which I said earlier we probably much, much done that through client scripts earlier now we can do it without scripting in a UI policy in the London release of course so that's pretty much it for me thank you for uh, watching this video and have a good Saturday evening if you're watching it now so to speak and see you later